What's going on guys, Mr. Crates here today. Um, today I'm going to be doing a bit of an unboxing video of the PS4 Slim. Um, just got this today uh, with Leon at the moment, he's in the background. He'll be recording me later of me actually unboxing this. Um, I did actually get Dying Light with it as well. This wasn't the actual one I was meant to be getting. I was meant to be getting a bundle that came with Ratchet and Clank and Overwatch. Um, but that, that obviously they didn't have it in store because I think they ran out. They haven't basically had like a delivery for like ages since Christmas. So this is the only one they had in stock. So I might just get rid of the game uh, and trade it in for some another game. Uh, and I'll probably get Battlefield 1 or something like that so I can play with some of my colleagues. Um, and so some of my friends obviously getting a PS4 soon. But uh, anyway, let's see what comes in. As you can tell, it's obviously the start Lego Star Wars edition. And it does come with the actual Force Awakens game, uh, not game, uh, film, which is pretty cool as well. Um, it says on the side here what kind of stuff you actually get. So you've got those standard here. For, if I've never had a PS, uh, PlayStation before, I've always been with Xbox, so that's a bit weird. Having those sort of headphones. Uh, you got your stand, I think that's your HDMI cable, your power lead, USB port, uh, the game, uh, the video, and obviously just like your standard manuals. Uh, I think there's nothing else on that side, just shows you what's in the box. So, uh, yeah, let's get unboxed. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get into this. So it just enters something like that. Okay, so there you go. So you have got this thing here, and that it just basically comes with the actual, the actual film, uh, the actual film, which is pretty decent to be fair. I've watched that film before, and it was a great film. Um, and when now they're going to do the next one because, as most of you have known, Carrie Fisher died, who is actually Princess Leia. So I wonder how they're going to actually do. That uh, the next one now, but anyway, apart from that's not nothing to do with this. Um, so a box inside of a box, just a plain plain white box. Uh, open it from here. I think. Is it actually open? There we go. Okay. So let's open those. So you've got your. Ah, I think I'm moving. Oh. <laughs> Um, so obviously you've got your plain power cable. I think from what I've read about this, PS4 doesn't actually come with an actual uh, like a brick, like a power brick like the Xbox did. So that'll be pretty useful. So won't, that won't get in the way as much. I'm not gonna bother going to untie that because it's going to take like 10 years to do. Those are the headphones. Uh, I probably won't use them too far. I'll probably use some headphones that I've already got. So those will go to uh, be a bit of a spares. You've got your uh, USB port. Here to uh, obviously connect your uh, your actual controller and obviously charge it as well. So that's pretty nifty. Uh, you got your standard uh, quick start guides and a safety guide as well. Won't need that. I won't read that. Uh, and you got your standard HDMI cable here, but I think I've, I've already got one, so but I use I might use that. I'm not sure. And obviously you got your actual controller. Dual shock. Um, Oh, sorry. I think it's a dual shock control. Dual shock. It does feel really good. Um, much much sleeker than the uh, the Xbox One. It feels it feels quite really comfy in your hand. Uh, I think that the made. I think I'm not sure if it was the Pro. They uh, they actually did some adjustments to it. They had like a little light on the touchpad. But uh, that definitely feels feels really good. Uh, and obviously. It should come up in a main bit if we can actually open this goddamn thing. There we are. Crocky, it's a lot smaller than I thought. You know that big. There you go. But the box was, as we were carrying it though, was pretty heavy. I know, the box was really, Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, so you got a PlayStation protection policy. Uh, you got your guarantee sort of thing. I don't know what the fuck that is. Just chuck that. And also you got the main console itself. Let's get into it. 
and you are. Now that does look very nice indeed. Uh, it's obviously a lot smaller than obviously the standard PS4, but it's a little bit thicker than the PS4 Pro that's out now. Um, unfortunately, I didn't actually have that much uh, money to actually afford the actual PS4 Pro. Um, so I just got this one, but it, it's still pre fairly nice to be fair. I do like the sort of the uh, the matte sort of colour to it. It's not like the Xbox One where it's got like a bit of a shine to it, so that's not bad. Uh, the back it does have the power uh, power cable or the power input. Uh, it does have one uh, aux uh, input, a HDMI out, uh, and obviously where you can actually plug in uh, yeah, for your Wi-Fi or your, you know, your internet, and obviously. At the front, it has the power button and the eject button. They are, the power button is a slight uh, bit bigger than the eject button. It's not touch like the other one was. It's an actual button, which is pretty cool. And you've got two more USB ports at the front. Um, and on the side, I believe uh, somewhere there is a uh, what's it called? The actual where you can actually take out the hard drive and put in a new hard drive. And I think. It's somewhere across this sort of line, um, but uh, yeah, it looks really nice. It's got like the uh, X square triangle circle on the back as well, so to keep it keeps it level, which is pretty cool. Um, I almost dropped it then. Don't drop it. Um, yeah, all round looks like a very nice console. Uh, and also, you got the Souls game with it as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, I'll also do a setup for you so you guys can see um, what it's like when it obviously you, you turn it on. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get around to that, shall we? Okay, guys. So obviously this is the setup at the moment. This is what as soon as you turn it on, it'll come up with the PlayStation logo. It'll say Sony, um, and then it basically just comes up with this. So obviously you want to click United Kingdom because that's where I'm from. Um, so set up internet connection, connect PlayStation camera, which I don't have, but I can do everything else. So check your network environment. See how long it will actually take. It probably takes, oh no, uh, use Wi Fi. Uh, uh, so it's that one. Okay, what's the password for this now? Oh, this, is good. this is so weird, I'm going to have to get used to this. Here's his Wi-Fi password leak. Yeah, man. If you ever, if you ever run by my house, I might need to turn. I'm so sorry. Did you cancel this? Oh, there you go. <laughs> I found it. X J G W M B. Okay. That should be it. That's well weird. She's usually like, you've got an analog stick up here. Didn't you ever play the PlayStation 2 properly? Or the PS3? No, well, I had my PS2 at my dad's. So that was near enough about it. Mm. I think. So. Uh, skip, because I don't have a camera. Yeah, London, obviously. Please set the date and time. I don't even know That's the date. Person. That's probably right. Is that, is that the time though? I can't tell because I'll see your phone and my phone's in my pocket. Uh, you could do it after if you don't. Yeah, I'll do it after. It probably, it probably is too fair. Um, I don't know what that was, but yeah, it should be alright. Stay connected to the internet. Yeah. Enable turning on from uh, our PS4 network. I'll just skip that one. <laughs> I'm just trying to fly up through all of this, guys. Um, so there you go, it starts now. So like I say, it's just the basic sort of information you need. Um, so welcome to PlayStation 4, user 1, enter. And there you go, there you are. So you're near that, you're just you're straight away on, you don't have to do anything. Um, system updates doing. You can also operate your PS4 with your voice, that's pretty cool. Um, so playroom. Uh, I'm assuming that's where you also get all your games and stuff. Start up your gallery, friends, communities, events. You got your messages, your party, your profile, 
Your trophies, which are on after you because it's usually achievements for Xbox One or Xbox in general. And then you've got your playing settings over there, and then you've got your PlayStation Plus, which I will need to activate in a minute. And um, so that's near as done what everything comes up to, you guys. Oh, there you go. You've got the PlayStation Plus, so I'm not sure what the playroom is. Uh, um, you need the camera, and it's like like oh, it's games. Oh, you flick the thing. Yeah, it's like games oh, okay. and that. So that's new enough about it, guys. Uh, anyway, so thank you for watching um, PS4 unboxing and setup. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I will try and make uh, videos as much as I can. Um, I am uh, trying to get some uh, shifts at my work at the moment, hence which is why I haven't been doing much videos recently. Um, but no doubt, uh, one person is going to be watching this and probably will take the piss out of me. So James, if you're watching this, you are a bit of a prick. Um, but everyone else out there is legends. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.